What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing us a brand new video. And finally, I've gotten around to the vaunted settings video a lot of people have been asking for. Now, near the beginning of BF242, I did make a flight settings video that did decently. And people have been asking me here of late in the last couple of months, really, what my soldier settings are, what my sensitivity is, do I play with aim assist off and on, do I play with snap zoom, do I da 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 all this stuff. And I've kind of been pushing it off and pushing it off and pushing it off, and maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. And obviously, with uh, Battlefield 2042 about to go free to play on PlayStation through PlayStation Plus on March 7th, I thought it'd be a pretty good time to maybe stir up the algorithm a little bit, a little bit on YouTube, and see if it'll like me or dislike me, depending on how this goes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so for you new players that are watching, for you season players that are watching, this is on controller. So if you're on Xbox, PlayStation, or you're on PC with the controller, this video is, will be for you now. I'm talking about dead zones and things like that. I am not real intricate into things like that. I don't touch that. I just play the game. And, you know, obviously there's more in-depth guide. But this is kind of the entry-level stuff, I'd say, the basic-ish that you need to get down. So, we're going to go over uh, flight, uh, ground vehicle, and infantry settings. Um, I haven't touched these very much since I set them back when the game first came out. But let's get into it because I think I've been rambling for too long. So, number one, number two, and number three on the list. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I want you to go over, we're going to, okay, we're on general. I want you to go over to display. Turn your field of view. If you're on PlayStation, or if you're on PS5, Xbox Series X or S, it goes up to 105. If you're on PC, it should go up further. I'm not 100% sure, but put it all the way up to 105. Put your third-person camera on your vehicle all the way up till, till you can't no more, to 88, apparently. Turn your ADS field of view on. If you don't know what ADS field of view is, Basically, let's say you're using a red dot and you ADS. If you have this off, your soldier's, uh, your soldier camera will zoom in with whatever ret reticle you have. If you have it on, it will not snap in with the reticle. If I need to edit a clip of that in here, I will. If not, I think you guys should know what I'm talking about. These three things right here, especially number one and number three right here. I've had multiple people tell me, dude, how do you have no recoil? How do you have no recoil? Why don't you have recoil? You Coronas? You nice zen. Nice zim. I bad. But listen, I'll take the compliment. Trust me, I'll take the compliment. Outside of it, the recoil being balanced differently from PC to console, yes, this is a fact. It's been like this since, I believe, BF1 or, B or BF5, maybe even before that, I'm sure. It's been like that for a while, so it is technically easier to control weapons on console on Battlefield. And it's and the weapons in this game are, for the most part, laser guns. And turning this on and turning this all the way up pretty much nullifies any recoil you're really going to have with most of the guns. And, and I tell people this, they come back... In my stream, or they come back in a video, they're like, dude, I have been dropping 10, 15, 20 plus more kills every single game ever since you told me. And I'm like, hey, I'm glad I bless you. I'm glad I bless you. So the, these three, crank them up as much as you can. If you're uncomfortable with them, adjust them. If I could go higher than 105, I would. I'm on the PS5, though. I think it goes up to 120, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. So we're going to go down to brightness. We're at 50% motion blur to zero. Please, for the love of God, put your motion blur on zero. If you don't, yuck. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> So the HUD stuff, I have not really touched. Everything is the same. I believe, though, if I am uh, uh, correct here, I think that are the damage numbers in here? No, they're not. They Are they in cross? I haven't touched my crosshair either. Um, I, haven't I haven't touched the hit indicators, none of that yet. I might I might touch them up, but again, we're going through the basic, basic. If you want to touch your minimap, I have not touched this either. They actually just changed the minimap, so if you want to come in here and change your minimap stuff, you can. I have not touched it at all. Um, again, I don't, I don't really touch stuff like this unless it's really bothering me. Because outside of how my soldier moves and as and what I can see and my sensitivity, outside of that, I don't really care to touch anything. Same with the HUD. So sound, I have it at 90 on Master, 70 on Music, sound effects on 90, in-game announcer on 60. Again, it's up to you. If you're in a party chat, if you're using Discord, if you're using Google, well, you know, you can mix and match. And I have it on 3D, uh, 3D headphones. Again, you can change it to however you want. It's up to you. Voice chat I have off because you can use PlayStation Party or you can use Discord. Xbox already has Discord. PlayStation will be getting Discord on the 8th or the 9th. So, yeah, PlayStation Parties and Xbox Parties are probably about to um, become uh, null and void because of cross-play and things like that. So I have that off. The reason I have it off is because when people talk to you, it lowers, it lowers your volume when they speak. And on Xbox, they have an option to turn that off. But on PlayStation, they don't. So... I have that off, so it's not annoying. Uh, subtitles I haven't touched. Over to controller. So this is probably what you guys <laughs> probably came here for. 
yeah, you probably skipped to it, but um, they recently changed the mapping in 3.2, and then in, in this last update, I think it's 4.0, I believe, um, they kind of reset it again. Not reset it, but they changed the buttons around. I have it on default, the default 3.2 settings. So everything's default, 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 default. I haven't rebound anything, even though I probably should, but the more and more I use it, the more and more comfortable I'm getting with it. So, yeah, so global, uh, no, I haven't touched any of this. On foot, okay, here we go. Soldier aim sensitivity is at 75. Field of view, 105, we already know this. My aim assist is at 100. My soldier aim assist zoom snap is at 100. Again, if you feel uncomfortable, I feel uncomfortable with it sometimes. Sometimes it feels like aimbot, and other times it doesn't work, or it makes you ADS into the ground at people's feet. It, 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 again, it, it's still slightly bugged. <clears throat> feels better than it did, but still slightly bugged. So I have both of those at 100. Uh, all of this is default click to to sprint zoom all of this is on default 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 de default all of it all right uh vehicle aim sensitivity is at 80 they recently increased the turret speed of the tank so i might come in here and touch this a little bit um, i'm not 100 percent sure but it's at 80 we already went over the third person field of view for the ground vehicles it's 88 sensitivities are all the same for the gunner the driver all of the vehicle boost is click uh left uh, the left stick default 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 all of this is default Controller tuning, again, I don't get into all of this. If you want more advanced guides, there are more advanced guides out there. But again, it, just because it's my settings or somebody else's settings doesn't necessarily mean, especially when it comes to a, a controller, um, same on a mouse and keyboard, that it's going to work for you. That's why I always go, what's your dead zone? I, dude, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's all default. It's all default. <laughs> Accessibility, I haven't touched any of this, uh, except for obviously motion blurs off. HUD motion is on for some reason. I'd probably shut that off to camera shake. Everything's default. Zane trait visual effect. I should probably touch these two too because his uh, his thing, um, his air burst is now thermal and it kind of it's kind of strange. Subtitles and controls. Haven't touched any of those. And of course, there's extras. So there you go. That will be all of it. But once again, I'm gonna bang this. I'm gonna bang the table on this. ADS field of view and your normal field of view are the two most important settings in the entire game. I I honestly believe that. Whether you're on mouse and keyboard, PC, Xbox, I don't care if you're playing on a on a on a switch. I don't care what it is. <laughs> Turn these two on. It'll change your life. It will change your life, and it will honestly, I think, make you a better player. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, friends. But uh, and tell me what you guys think down below. Do you guys like kind of the uncut, raw going through it, or do you you know you like the more edited things? I, I don't know. It's whatever you like. This is just how I do it. It's my own style, I think. But uh, yeah. I'm kind of all over uh, outroing these videos. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It's shared your friends. It's been Just Gav, guys. I will catch you guys next one. Peace out. <gasps> Girl Scouts. <gasps> See ya. Bye-bye.